Greetings and welcome back, mechanics, to Scrap Mechanic and to our flippable trike. My goodness did this capture the imagination of the Dapplings. I have received so many suggestions and just bits of advice on how I can improve this build that I thought, sure, I'll do the next episode and we'll actually record me implementing some of these suggestions. Now, probably one of the most frequently requested changes and easily one of the easiest to implement and also one of the ones I feel the worst for not having thought of myself. Why didn't I put these on bearings? Ah, I can only apologize for how derpy that must have seemed. There we go. So these are now rotating in opposite directions. So all I need to do is just tell them flat out to rotate 180, both the same direction and that should work. Uh, let's jump up there and clonk. Uh, oh, that was my radio, sorry. There we go. Perfect. Ah! Now, there are actually a few questions that people had asked that I want to answer. Firstly, how does this self-right if it lands on its side? Question is, tends not to land on its side, but even if it does... Clunk. It's actually really hard to get it to just land on one side. The only time it's ever seemed to happen was when I bumped into a tree. Oh, we're just rolling. There we go. Come on. I think it might have been just about to land on its side and stay there. There we go. Right, perfect. Landed on side thanks to Hill. Now, if we do this, it'll tend to just jimmy it around until eventually it lands on either the top or the bottom. And just doing this a couple of times will always get you either driving upside down or driving the right way up. One way or the other, it will work. Now, Let's uh, pop this back up. Unfortunately, the radio is going to go off because I'm going to stick it on the lift. Uh, alas. The second thing that was requested is that I improve the steering. Now, there are two ways of us doing this. As I mentioned in the last episode, the, the easiest way and probably the way I'm going to do it for now is to just add a second steering bearing, hooking them both up to the control, and that'll cause it to steer much more aggressively. The other way is to make this angle much steeper so that it's steering from the top, so it's rotating a little bit more aggressively. But I don't think we need to do that, and honestly, I would rather not have this going straight down. That would actually cause me some issues in terms of stability. Having it further out is actually helping with the stability, though if we add a second steering bearing, that means I can implement the third suggestion, which was to reduce the length of this arm a little bit to help reduce the, uh, to lower the center of mass. We're not going to be able to reduce it that much, but we will be able to reduce it a little. Now, what we'll do is we'll just reduce that long section that was there and replace it instead by an extra short pipe over here which itself isn't going to add much length it, we're still getting a uh, a net reduction in the whole length of this steering arm and there we go that was a very simple change to implement and it should have made a fair bit of difference to how well this vehicle can steer now i'm implementing all of these changes on camera simply because they were suggested by the community and I, I like to show myself doing things when it when it's suggested by the community so they're probably not going to be too much time lapsing in this video let's see now that is a much aggressive much more aggressive steer let's pop the radio on and watch how easily this is going to flip constantly because of how aggressive the steer is now our vehicle is a very narrow vehicle that is trying to turn very quickly now that brings us very conveniently on to the next change that was suggested and that is to fix these legs however hmm, i almost want to lift this up i almost i almost need a crane system like a forklift that can just lift this hoist this whole vehicle up so i can work on it while it's still active because i want to listen to the bloody radio you know what i'm a mechanic with a magic pocket full of gizmos I don't need my vehicle radio. I can work this way. Let's pop that down for there. And let's have let's have a, a few tunes from those crazy wacky machines. There we go. Right. Now this change is going to be a little bit more involved, but I think ultimately the change is fairly simple. It's just going to require a lot of deconstruction in order to implement. So let's get on with the deconstruction. This change is going to 
put the the rear wheels out at an angle ideally that should make the the vehicle much much more stable like crazy amounts more stable and i think the easiest way for us to do this is actually going to be to hook this up at the top we no longer need that all that at this point if we just put a little bearing there you know what let me quickly unhook the wheels down here so that i can get the left and right wheel neatly uh numbered in the control sequence so if we place that there i may do something to smarten up the top and the bottom in a moment this should start to work now we'll raise this one all the way up we need to rebuild this leg more or less exactly the same way a couple of people have asked oh why don't you add um, multiple wheels it would look really cool i agree it really would maybe i should Hmm. Though if we, the multiple wheels would have worked side by side if it was straight. If we put it on an angle, it actually makes it a little bit more complicated to set up. So I think maybe that would be for a, a build off camera at some point because it's probably going to be a lot of building. So uh, that would definitely be something to cut out. There we go. I would have to juggle with angles very specifically to try and get the the wheels to tilt in such a way that that. The two wheels were always facing the ground. It's probably not that complicated of a test, just quite a fiddly one. Right, okay, so this is hooked up. Let's hook that up as well to the engine. Now, there are three bearings on this arm instead of two. First one, two, and three. Now, I would like this to rotate that way. Yeah, that seems all okay. So... First and foremost, I want this to be at about, let's say, 30 degrees, naturally. Likewise, for down here, and when this rotates, I just want it to rotate an extra 120 degrees. And as for this one, just flat out want it to rotate minus 180 when a transformation occurs. Now, if we take this away, there we go. That's what we wanted. Oh dear, oh dear, I haven't hooked that up to <laughs> any of the control switches, so it just sunk slowly, like a flan in a cupboard. Right, let's uh, see how that rotates. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I need that to not rotate in the way that I've done it. That was very derpy of me. Where are we? It actually doesn't do anything. I needed to go the other way. There we go. That should fix it. Let's see if that works now. Yes, it does. Also, this will give a much more aggressive self-writing as well. So that works out. Let's pop you back on the lift because you look very janky right now. There we go. So now we just need to mirror those changes on this side. There we are. Now, a, a lot of people have suggested I simply put the control, uh, the seat, on a pivot so that it can rotate with me. At this point, that would require a complete redesign of the, of the vehicle. Because the seat is a large structure, I wouldn't be able to have these fuel tanks on the side because the, the seat would smack into them when it was trying to rotate. Unless I had everything in the middle rotate. At which point, it's possible. It is possible. It would look very odd, though. I think I would prefer to have the, the middle kind of rotate within the craft. Or maybe extend out the back, rotate, and then slot back in. Uh, we may end up redesigning this vehicle with that in mind in the future. But that will definitely be for another build i think right well let's hook this up to controls also to the engine and we want uh which one do we want first we want this one first so eight nine and ten and that's it that control is controlling the maximum amount of bearings that it possibly can now let's just make sure that everything is rotating the correct way i think it all is already that one is not there we go right so now we just mirror five six and seven across eight nine and ten so 30 minus 60 30 120 and then down here minus 180 and that should give us a very very nice setup let's uh turn you off because i'm about to use the radio on the trike there we go. Let's see. How does this work? 
That is so much more stable. This is not really wanting to tip, though that wheel was flying off into the sky. I suspect that was largely because I'd just gone over a hill. Uh, it is actually trying to lift those wheels a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Might need to address that a little bit. But generally speaking, much harder to flip. Very much harder. Perhaps some sort of weighted cubes. I don't think any of the cubes are particularly weighted enough to affect that, though. Which is a bit of a shame. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Right. We need to find some way to flip ourselves. So. Oh, are we going to flip? Come on, keep going. No, okay, fine. We'll drive up somewhere and jump off. That will almost certainly flip us. Also, it's a test of how well this can navigate roads. Ooh, you know what? Let's increase the speed. That will probably help us flip. Increase it by two notches. Now, how... Yep, there we go. <laughs> so funny. Right, okay. So, we want to flip by doing this. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess that's self-righted in a way. Okay, now we're just doing roly-polies. All right, well... There's one way to fix the, the flipping, and that is to, to put the drive in the front. But I'm not sure I really want to do that just yet. We need to balance this engine. It needs to be a tad bit less aggressive. Let's pop it down there instead. Really, robots and your maniacal laughter. There we go. That's actually a lot better. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, no. We're taking off. Ah! Yeah, we need some extra weight at the front, I think, to keep this down. I can't think of how we can do that, though, easily. Without messing with this quite a lot. Still, at least the steering is now much improved. I wonder if we could use some spinning blocks to try and uh, center it a little bit. Might be able to. Try and get up here. This is actually much more maneuverable now. It's just really... You've got to kind of tap the acceleration here and there. But that is actually very, very nice. Okay. We'll go back to where we had the radio, and we'll do a little bit more work, I think. Oh, look at this. It's actually really trying to flip. It succeeded. And back down again. So, it's, it's almost a, a non-issue because of how easy it is to start going again, just by switching the direction of the legs. But we definitely need to improve it in some way that will allow us to keep the engine on full throttle. That's That's my... My opinion. That is the next thing to work on, is his ability to run quickly. Welcome back, everyone. I have, I think, found, well, a fun solution, if, if not a, a foolproof solution. I have got thrusters, which generally kind of give a bit of downward force as well as forward force. So they're not working against the engine, but they are kind of guiding the engine. Or rather, guiding the vehicle's desire to try and lift the nose up. Now, you may be wondering, how on earth did I manage to fit two thrusters on like this? And wouldn't this this uh, make uh, a problem when we're upside down? Well, yes and no. Now, as you can imagine, the way that I've got them at that angle is because I'm using a bearing. And that bearing is connected to a controller and does flip with the rest of the bot. But as we saw in the last segment of the video, I've run out of spots on this controller. And I don't have more switches. I wouldn't want more switches. The way I've done this is... Let me uh, slow this down. Actually, let me quickly demonstrate the flipping mechanism. It's slightly delayed, and this might give you an idea of how I've done it. There we go. We've actually hooked this up. This controller no longer controls these bearings. It passes a signal down here. It, it's pretty much what you might expect. A little sensor, a little bearing that drops in front of the sensor, all neatly tucked away in here. It actually looks kind of fitting, in my opinion. It looks like it, it, it uh, is in the right place. We've got the controller there, the sensor. It looks like I built it for that. I didn't, obviously. And that, in turn, controls the bearings here here and the two signs so that gives us quite a lot of stability 
an awful lot of stability. Oops, why are we moving? Have we grounded ourselves for some reason? Hmm, that's peculiar. Let me switch the wheels and switch them back. See if they're working now. No, no, we, one of our wheels has stopped working. No, there we go, it's working again. How peculiar. I'm going to have to have a look into that and find out why the, the wheels occasionally do that. Now, the thing with the lift is it does occasionally mean that uh, if we go over a, a hill and get any kind of crazy airtime where the, the front of the of the vehicle does lift naturally, all of a sudden the thrusters aren't pointing down at all, they're pointing forward. And uh, we actually do travel a little bit further, but it's very unstable. and it's, it's hard to get us to land the right way. The front just doesn't want to come back down ever again. Oh, it's a little tunnel. Fantastic. I wonder if there's a bridge up there. Uh, probably. I could maybe get up there. Let's see what we can do with this vehicle as a result of this. I'm going to uh, drive around a little bit and see if we have any particular problems. We're driving around faster than I would normally dare drive because this game you know it's, it's not exactly the easiest game to drive in oh that's the tall peak up there hmm. should we try and get back up there i'm not sure let's just see how we navigate through here ah the wider rear limbs that is an issue i wonder if there would be a way i imagine there is a way that we could set up some sort of program that would affect both limbs in different ways so we could have the limbs generally deploy when, yeah, there, there would be a way, it's just whether I've got enough room on this craft, and I don't, unfortunately. But what I was thinking is that we could use a dual sensor, uh, sorry, a dual pivot sensor, so a multi-input con uh, controller, to deal specifically with the angle of the rear legs. And when I change formation, it'll try to push the legs out, but also I could use a switch to affect the legs. That would be quite useful, because um, then I could draw them in narrow when I'm trying to get through little gaps. But thankfully... Even when I've not got much power, I can kind of wobble the rear legs just by trying to turn. That actually is an unintended benefit to this design. I'm honestly really, really proud of this. And I thank everyone who has suggested anything to, to amend to it. The, the extra steering, the shortening of the front limb, the pitching or rather angles of the rear limbs. This this bot is honestly my pride and joy in Scrap Mechanic at the moment. But I don't like being one of those people. I already have an idea for a new vehicle. I am thinking that it is high time we tried to make a flyer. We have been bound to the ground of this planet for over long, methinks. So even in the next episode or the one after that, I'm going to be working on the flyer. I might do a base building episode next, but we're back up to the peak of the world. And we're about to hurl ourselves off it. And let's reverse a little bit. Just get a nice bit of, uh, bit of a gap there. And let's go. We're either going to drive straight down because of the thrusters. We are, in fact... Oh! 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 Epic flip! That was amazing! My lord, those thrusters are fantastic. With a little bit of control, you can achieve grand things. And we're clinging to the wall. That was an unintended effect. Come on, come on, flip us. No, not enough. Not enough force. That's fine. We have that mechanism for the times when our thrusters are not, not up to the task. But my goodness, with a little bit of uh, care when you're pulsing the thrusters, that, that, that flip, that forward flip was absolutely... Fantastic. Unintended as well. I really wasn't expecting to get a flip like that. Landed on our wheels and could drive straight away. Those are the best kinds of flips. But that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed a bit of a short one just working on improving a vehicle we've already made. In the next episode, we will be doing something new. Either a base building episode or possibly a flyer. Let me know which you would prefer in the comments and we shall see what happens tomorrow. But that is it from me. So until next time and as always, do take care.